Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to send parameters to your Kotlin file in your Android project from Flutter. So I've already shown you in this previous video how to actually call a method from your Kotlin code. If you haven't had a look at that, feel rec I highly recommend that you go through that video first. And this is what it resulted in. I click this button, it says hello from the Kotlin world, and that is return from here. It's actually send values is actually pretty darn simple. All you want to do in your dart side is put var send map is equal to string dynamic um, some colon then here we just put the actual key so this is the key data type this is the value data type making it dynamic means we could pass in a number we could pass in a string you could restrict it to an integer so a number for example that's totally up to you and um, bomb's gonna send in two strings just keep it simple but whatever you want to do on the kotlin side is totally up to you so i'm going to put val one colon and here i'm going to put just put the number one in a string and the only last thing we need to do in our dart file is say send map so pass it and pass this in as well go to our main activity kotlin and inside of here what we need to do is first of all we need to actually get the you know the parameters the method and that's part of the method call to do that we're just going to say val arguments equal to method call dot argument and we just put map string any instead of you know dynamic in kotlin and we pop and close bracket so this is the format and now we've actually got all of the arguments now what we want to do is actually check for a particular argument so we are going to say var val1 is equal to arguments and to get one you just do square brackets and then put the the name and the name is whatever you specified as the key remember it's key and value and now this has the string one in it because though it's a number it is still inside of a string and now what we can do is simply i'm going to do an if statement i'll say if val1 is equal to string one then we are going to do a result dot success yay else result dot dot success nay and i'll get rid of this one here so if we pass in the value one which we are it'll return yay if not it'll return nay so remember because we are modifying the android native side we need to shut the application down and restart it or you know you know we debug it because it will not build the android side if we just do a hot reload or a hot restart so again it just takes a bit of time but you're probably not going to be doing a whole heap of you know native kotlin or native java side you know code so it's not it's not the end of the world let's say that okay so that's all running there so if i click this button we get yay so we get this yay because it is the value one if i put two in it in here and i just do a hot reload and i can do a hot reload because this modification was on the dart side and not on the kotlin side we should get we get an a because the if statement only checks for number one you could do multiple checks and you could have multiple parameters as well you just change the key which remember is this part here so that's it that's how you send parameters from the flutter dart side all the way to the native kotlin side of your android project not much more to it than that if you have any questions though feel free to pop me a message and as usual I look forward to seeing you in the next video.